Hello everyone and welcome to my Star Wars Last Jedi teaser trailer breakdown and analysis. I had recorded my reaction my first time seeing it, but I accidentally deleted the file with the video while it was uploading, so it stopped uploading, and I can't get it back. So that's gone, but that's all right. It was exciting. I love the trailer. It's incredible. But now we're going to go through the trailer shot by shot. I wrote down some notes. So we're just going to dissect this thing and see what we can see. So this first shot we see here looks like a star field, but actually it reveals itself to be the surface of Ak2, where Luke Skywalker is at the end of The Force Awakens. And then we can see here Rey jumped down, probably training. She's breathing pretty heavily. And we move on to the Lucasfilm logo. And Luke says, breathe, which is probably him instructing Rey as she's training. And we see a beautiful shot here of Luke's island on Ak2 with, no, it's just rocks, never mind. <laughs> and then we see Ak2 again, a aerial view. And then Ray here standing over water, maybe using the force to control the water, or just thinking, not sure. And then Luke says, reach out. And we can see Ray using the force. Now she's using it on pebbles, which are very small objects, and so maybe she's just learning, or maybe she'll be using this ability to manipulate very small objects to her advantage. We do not know. Now Luke asks, reach out, what do you see? And Ray says light. But before Ray says light, we see a picture, or not a picture, a shot of General Leia's back. And in the background, very faintly, you can hear from episode four, her saying, you are my only hope. And then Ray says light. And then after this, we see a shot of Kylo Ren's smashed helmet with Darth Vader's breathing in the background. And then Ben Kenobi saying, seduced by the dark side, followed by Ray saying, dark. Darkness, but same thing. Now we see some books, which I believe are books that Luke found when he visited the first Jedi Temple. Probably, well not probably, but people have been speculating that these might be the Journal of the Wills that we get a mention of in Rogue One. I don't know if I believe that, but that would be very interesting to see. And we move on to a gloved hand. I'm assuming that's Ray's hand. Wiping off the book with the old Jedi symbol on the cover of the book. So it could be Practices of the Jedi. This is an amazing shot. Probably one of my favorites. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Back at this shot, you hear Yoda very faintly in the background saying, Train you I will to be a Jedi, which is what he says to Luke in episode 5. Then we see the gloved hand again. Now it's the amazing shot with Rey training with the lightsaber and Luke right here watching over her. And Luke says it's so much bigger as Rey says balance, meaning that Luke may have discovered that there's more to the Force than the light and the dark, which I will touch on later. And then we get a huge music fanfare. And this shot, or two shots right here, are very interesting to me. Because what I'm speculating is that these walkers here in the background are First Order walkers. And they are trying to find the Resistance base. And they are attacking planets to try to find out where the Resistance is. And these speeders here are, I'm presuming, locals of the planets trying to defend their planet from the first order maybe they're resistance people but I think they're locals and I don't wonder like really know what's happening here but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen they look like pod racers but I know they're not pod racers thank god so the first order is looking for the resistance and then this is Finn probably healing from his injuries he sustained in the force awakens when he got sliced up the back by Kylo Ren so he doesn't look like he'll be seeing much action maybe in the beginning of this movie, but I hope he comes back in. 
This next shot is of Poe and BB-8 running down what looks to be a corridor in a ship, and they are under attack by these sparks, and they're running to Poe's ship, which explodes. So obviously there's a big fight happening. This looks like a hangar, a hangar bay, because you an A-wing here and Poe's X-wing, but we might lose Poe's X-wing, which I don't want. That's a cool X-wing. Then we cut to this awesome shot of a TIE fighter exploding, and we see the Millennium Falcon being chased by two TIE fighters, and Rey running with the lightsaber in her hand, possibly more training, maybe she's running after someone, and then we see Kylo Ren for the first time after his injuries, it doesn't look like he's blind or anything in this eye, and the scar doesn't look that bad, but that's okay, I was hoping it wouldn't be too ugly and gross, I'm happy with what it looks like from what I can see. And he has his same lightsaber, which I think broke in Episode 7. He might have just rebuilt it the same way, which is cool. Now we see, I think this is a flashback, because in Episode 7, in Ray's vision, we see a very similar image with a hooded figure putting his hand onto R2. I think that's Luke. This is definitely Luke coming back to the temple, seeing that Kylo Ren has turned and has destroyed the temple with the Knights of Ren. And he drops to his knees, probably in shock. So this is probably a flashback scene, from what I'm guessing. Next we see, from this, up here, you can see this is probably the same hangar that Poe and BB-8 were in. Meaning that this might be a boarding party. We see First Order Stormtroopers and Captain Phasma. I'm so happy they're bringing Captain Phasma back. I was very excited for her in The Force Awakens, and she did nothing but lower some shields, which she wasn't supposed to do. So I hope they make her do some awesome things in this trailer. So she has a boarding party. Now this is a space battle scene with an A-wing and X-wings. The A-wings look more red than they used to. I didn't, didn't notice that. And we see these new ships which look like Neb Nebulon B frigates, but they're like cut off at the back. So there's like short little cruisers, carriers maybe. But I love space battles. I was very happy when I saw this. If I had the reaction, I was freaking out when I saw this. But it's a great shot. We have TIE Fighters. I'm assuming this is over uh, the Resistance base from Episode 7. And the First Order finally found them. This might be near the end of the movie. And they are having to defend their base from the First Order. Another shot. We see these ships. Which I like the look of those carriers or cruisers, whatever they are. They look very interesting. And then Luke says, I know only one truth. It is time for the Jedi to end. Which... People are speculating that he might kill himself, like jump off here, but I don't think that's true. But um, I think that him saying the Jedi are to end is him going back, realizing that the ways of the Jedi have failed, that the Jedi Order was blind to the dark side, and that he's discovered that there's more to the Force than dark and light, and he's probably going to train Rey with the same aspects in mind, training her to use her emotions and to help that make her stronger, but not to completely give in to them to the point where she goes completely evil but Luke may push her to give in to her emotions and feel a little more than the old Jedi used to which is not what Yoda believed in which maybe Yoda may come up as a force ghost and tell Luke this isn't the right thing you're doing but that's very interesting that's basically all we have we get this shot of the last Jedi logo but yeah that's very cool. I enjoyed hearing Leia and Ben Kenobi and Yoda, their old lines in the background. Very mysterious. But that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tomorrow is the Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer, which I will of course be covering, and I will try to do a reaction to that one and not lose it this time, like an idiot. And I will of course be breaking it down. Very excited for that. I love the original, or not the original Battlefront, I do love the original Battlefront 2. But I love Battlefront 1 that EA made two years ago, even though people don't like that one. I love it. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do with Battlefront 2. And so follow me on Twitter at Rhino1343. That's R-Y-N-O-1343. And I tweet fairly often, especially now that Celebration is happening. I'm tweeting all the time. And I will keep you updated on my videos. And you can chat with me and ask me questions. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next video, I'll see you guys soon.